All right, so at this point in the tutorials, I expect that you have gone over the game shell tutorials to understand sort of basically how this uh, thing is set up. Um, I've gone through and deleted the ball class because we're going to make a different one for this uh, series. I'm going to rename some things and we're going to, you need to scrub your program and delete the ball class. You can just right click on it uh, and select delete to delete your ball class because we want to redo that and um, do it in a specific way that works for our game. So um, the first thing that we're going to do here is to uh, actually add one line of code to the game panel class to make the graphics tool draw um, in a, a little bit more smooth way. So uh, this one is just something that you kind of have to remember at first. So we could, what we can do is we can set the rendering hints so that it does anti-aliasing, which means it uh, just kind of smooths the edges rather than having a very pixelated edge. So we can say set rendering hints. And then these are just long sort of constants that the program uses to, or the Java uses uh, to remember what these values are. So rendering hints, and we want to say dot key anti-aliasing. And then the hint value is um, rendering hints dot value anti-aliasing on. Um, anti-alias on. And that'll, what, what this line of code does is it tells the graphics tool to try and smooth the edges and to use some blending to make the image look more smooth. Okay, next up what we're going to do is start building the paddle. Um, so, we want actually to create a new package. You know, before that let's rename this because it's no longer the game shell. So right click and refactor and rename it um, to be Instead of game shell or whatever your project is called, let's do. Uh, I'm just going to call it brick breaker. Um, and inside brick breaker, now we should have a main package with a game panel and a game window. And then we're going to add another package, and we're going to call this one entity. And packages are traditionally, like by convention, they start with lowercase letters. So we're going to have a package called Entity. And inside Entity, we're actually going to use an interface uh, to sort of help us organize the objects and allow us to gather them together. And I'm just going to call this Game Entity. And it'll really only have two methods at the beginning. It'll only have two methods at the beginning. Uh, and so what you can think of this is, uh, as is... Um, just a, just a list of methods that all the entities in our game are going to uh, utilize. And so they need to be able to update themselves based on their position or time. So void update, remember that all um, methods in uh, an interface are public by default. And they're going to be able to draw themselves to the screen. So draw, and it's going to take in a graphics 2D tool called uh, G2. Um, and this is the uh, entire interface at the moment. We're going to add something to it later, but not for right now. Inside Entity, you want to create a new class. Inside the Package Entity, you want to create a new class called Paddle. And this is going to be the paddle that goes across the bottom of the screen. And uh, the uh, Paddle object is uh, needs to know a couple things about itself. It needs to know where it is. Uh, and the X, the horizontal plane, so it's we're going to actually uh, establish a value, a variable called private, and we want this to be a double, actually, because we are going to deal with decimals with this, and we're going to say draw X. Um, and so that's the, that's the position at which the paddle should be drawn. We're also going to create, and this is for the sake of uh, this tweening effect that I'll explain in a little bit, um, uh, private double target X. This is going to be the X coordinate to which the paddle is trying to um, trying to get, um, and then we're going to say public static final int. And this is the paddle height, so uh, paddle height, um, and, or not paddle height, uh, paddle but the draw Y or something, let's call it like that, draw Y. So this is where it will be drawn in the Y direction. You could frankly just call it Y position or something. Let's just do that actually. So Y position. 
Um, and then uh, we need there to be a width and a height to our paddle, and these are not going to be final variables because we'll want to make changes to them. Why is this thing angry at me? Uh, oh yeah, because we have to give it a value. So uh, we'll just say the it'll, the paddle will be drawn at uh, 400 pixels. Sorry, I should have known that. Um, we need a private integer to remember the paddle height. Uh, private int paddle, uh, let's do width, and then paddle height. And uh, I think that that's it for right now. We'll need a constructor, public paddle, and in the constructor we should initialize the field. So we'll just say draw x equals, we'll put it in the middle, so game window dot width divided by 2. And uh, the paddle width, paddle width, and you can play with this, uh, but we'll just set it to 80 initially, paddle height will be set to 20, so it's kind of longer than it is uh, tall. And I think that's good for right now. We have uh, not used the interface yet, so let's implement the interface. The paddle class implements game entity. And at this point, uh, the program will want us to add unimplemented methods, so let's go ahead and do that. So uh, public void there are two methods in the interface that we're required to implement public void update and public void draw that takes a graphics 2D tool named G2 for the sake of consistency uh, we also need um, I forgot we need some another field private color object uh, C we'll just call it and import graphics 2D. And then we'll define what the paddle's color is going to be. So paddle, oh, we have to import color. Import color. And so C, let's just set it to like color.darkgray or something. And we can change these values later. And later on, I'll show you how to use images rather than just drawing rectangles. All right, so at draw x, we want the g2 dot fill rectangle. This is all you have to do. Fill. Let's do a round rectangle so it has like smooth edges, and we're gonna fill it at uh, draw x y position paddle width paddle height, and then the arc width. I think will just be like 10 and 10 pixels for the degree of um, rounding. Oh yeah, and because our um, because draw x is a uh, double, we have to cast it to an integer, so we send only the integer part of draw x. Now we're doing this because we want the x position to actually be a little bit more, like, we're going to use what's called tweening to make this position, um, to make it kind of glide a little bit. Um, so let's say uh, target x equals draw x at the beginning to give it an initial value. And we actually don't want to, yeah, okay, so good. All right, we also have to communicate um, the information about the mouse to the paddle object. So we need another method, public void uh, mouse moved, because we just want it to move based on when the mouse is being moved. And we're gonna, we're, we're gonna need just one integer, we just need the x position of the mouse, because the paddle is at a fixed height. So we're gonna say int mouse x. And whenever uh, the game panel class, is, uh, the intention is it's gonna send over the information from the mouse to the paddle class from the mouse motion listener. So um, it's gonna send over an x coordinate. And we are all we're gonna do here is mouse, or target x, take that information target x equals mouse x um, and we're gonna just store it in our target x now you might be wondering how does target x communicate with draw x well that's gonna be in the update method now this is kind of a neat thing called tweening uh, which allows us to uh, create sort of smooth motion and I'm gonna show it to you and then we're gonna talk about what it's doing more specifically so um, in update we need to take the information from target x and communicate it with draw x and so what we do is we say draw x plus equals, so add to the current value of draw x, we're going to say target x minus draw x times 0.1. So 
What is this doing? Well, it's going to add a tenth of the distance between target x and draw x to draw x every time. So it'll, like, as draw x approaches target x, it'll kind of slow down and there'll be this sort of smooth motion. All right, so that's all we really need to do for our paddle class right now, and I'll show you what this looks like in just a second. So let's go over to the game panel and actually add a new instance of a paddle object to our game. So private paddle, the paddle, let's initialize it now, the paddle equals new paddle open and close parentheses semicolon and it's going to want us to import paddle because paddle is in a different package from game panel and then we need to do two things with our paddle object at this point we need to update it so the paddle dot update and the paddle dot draw we need to draw it in the create image in memory thing so uh, the paddle is actually displayed so we just say the paddle dot draw and we pass it over our main graphics robot that knows how to draw on the image finally we need to communicate the mouse movement to the paddle so we're going to use the method in the listener called mouse moved and so here you just uh, inside mouse move this method public void mouse moved you say the paddle dot mouse moved and then we say e dot get x and this just takes wherever the mouse's position is and sends the x value to our paddle because all we need is the horizontal position of the mouse. It doesn't matter vertically on the screen where it is. And I think if I've done all this correctly, it's actually going to be a movable paddle. Now, we're going to have to do some adjustments later, but let's just run it at this point to see the paddle move across the screen. Keeping my fingers crossed. And is anything being drawn? What am I doing incorrectly here? All right, so something's not quite right. Oh, the paddle never sets the uh, the color. G two dot set color. So it was probably there. It just wasn't showing up because it was drawing it in white. So G two dot set color to my color, and then draw me. All right, here we go. We'll see if that was all the issue was. Yeah, look at that. All right, so we have a paddle, and you can see the motion of the paddle is kind of smooth. So it goes like. Uh, yeah, perfect. Oh, and let's do one more thing, because right now the paddle is being drawn at the, you know, the, the mouse is at the left-hand side of the paddle, so instead of just saying target x equals mouse x, we're going to say target x equals mouse x minus paddle width divided by 2, and that will center uh, the mouse on the paddle, which will make the game kind of make a little bit more sense. So now the mouse is uh, in the center of our paddle. I like a little bit more rounded rectangle, so I'm probably going to change that to like 20 and 20 rather than 10 and 10. I think that's enough for this video though.